Christmas, episode two. It is Christmas Eve and everything has gone a bit wrong. Queen Thistle wrapped in a Christmas present. Help! Let me out! I'm the queen! King Thistle trapped in a Christmas cracker. I'm the king! Get me out of here! And the wise old elf is stuck in a Christmas tree. Up for sale in a shop. How undignified. And there's big people everywhere. Wow! Look at all those big people. Shh! We must keep quiet. No problem. Pine elves are good at keeping quiet. And we're Pine Elves! Stay hidden. Nanny, lots of the grown-ups seem to be missing. King Thistle, Queen Thistle, all the Pine Elves. And the wise old elf. Yes, it's not good. Hello? It's me, the wise old elf. Why are you whispering? Listen carefully. It's Christmas Eve. And tonight, Father Christmas will be delivering presents to the children of the world. It's my job to track him. Every year, I follow Father Christmas's journey and make sure he is OK. But this time, I seem to be a bit, um, stuck. So, someone else is going to have to do the tracking. Someone responsible. Me! I'll do it! Me! Me! OK, Danny Plum, but don't mess it up. Ah, oh, big people walking this way! I'm really looking forward to a quiet family Christmas with no talk of fairies and elves. OK, Dad. Ooh, I like this Christmas tree. Yes, Lucy. Let's get that one. And we'll need some Christmas crackers. Oof! Let me out of this Christmas cracker! Let me out! Oh, no! Where to now? So, where exactly is this top-secret elf command tracking centre? In the Great Elf Tree. Listen up, everyone. The wise old elf can't be here, so he's put me in charge. Right, Hall. What do these buttons do? Ah! Don't touch anything. It's all automatic. Oof. This screen shows the world, and this flashing dot shows where Father Christmas is. He's at the North Pole. That's right, Holly. He's just about to set off. Ho, ho, ho. Good. That's all the presents packed. Let me out. I'm the queen. Let me out. What was that tiny squeaky noise? Oh, well, time to go, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Away we go. Look, Father Christmas is moving. He has to deliver presents to all the children. All the children? Even our friend Lucy? Yes. I wonder what Lucy is doing now. There, don't the decorations look pretty? Let's put the Christmas crackers on. Whoa! I wonder what's inside. <laughs> it will look nice here. Time to switch on the lights. Ooh! What's that flashing light? <gasps> Is that you, wise old elf? Oh, hello, Lucy. And hello, Lucy's mum. Nice to see you both again. But, wise old elf, what are you doing in our Christmas tree? It's a bit of a long story. You see, pine elves live in pine trees, and then they... Pine elves? What are pine elves? We're pine elves! <laughs> oh, my goodness! Cool! We've got pine elves in our Christmas tree. That's lovely, but it's probably best if you all stay hidden. Lucy's dad gets a bit nervous around little people. Did someone say little people? Um, eh... Uh... I'm really looking forward to a normal family Christmas with just us three and no talk of little people. Of course, darling. Anyway, it's getting late. Time for your bed, Lucy. Father Christmas won't come unless you're sleeping. OK. 
<laughs> night, night, Lucy. Night, night. I wonder where Father Christmas is now. Father Christmas has delivered presents to just about every child in the world. Good. Once it's delivered the last one, we can all get some sleep. Look, Father Christmas is almost at Lucy's house. One last present to deliver. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Let me out! Let me out! <sighs> that chair looks comfy. I'll just have a little sit down. <sighs> I mustn't fall asleep, but I'll just close my eyes for a moment. The dots have stopped moving. Father Christmas hasn't left Lucy's house. He's fallen asleep. We'll have to go and wake him up. Come on, everyone, to the elf helicopter. I only hope we can get there before Father Christmas is discovered. Look, Mummy, a present. We'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Lucy! That's Dad! I don't think your Dad could take all this. Everyone hide, quickly! Hide? Who has to hide? Um, um, Merry Christmas, darling. Let's pull a cracker. Oof! Let me out! Now, let's have a nice, normal Christmas. No weird, magical stuff. Oh, oof! At last! I'm out of that cracker! What? What is that? It's King Thistle. He's our friend from the Little Kingdom, Dad. Ah! Magical weirdness! It's happening again! Hello, Lucy's dad. Um, hello. Allow me the honour of reading you the cracker joke. What's at the North Pole and has two humps? Hmm. A lost camel. <laughs> Good, isn't it? Yeah. I wrote it myself. Uh, Lucy, you haven't opened your present. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow, a tiny fairy castle. Hello, Lucy. Queen Thistle, what are you doing in there? Um, it's a bit complicated, but... Basically, this isn't a toy. It's the real little castle shrunk down. Are you OK? I'll be fine once I'm my own size again. Um, are there any more of you, uh, fairies around here? What's that noise? Ah! Hello, Lucy's dad. Um, hello. Daddy! Mummy! Hello! Hello, everybody. Um, is that all of you now? Uh, there are the Pine Elves, too. Pine Elves? What are they? We're Pine Elves! They live in our Christmas tree. Pine Elves! Yes, of course. Why didn't I think of that? My goodness, it looks like just about everyone from the Little Kingdom is here. Hello. Um, hello. We heard the Christmas party was around your place this year. We're gnomes, by the way. <laughs> um, it seems we have gnomes as well. Yes, aren't you the lucky ones? <gasps> ah! Hello, big people. Happy Christmas from Planet Bong. Aliens? Elves? Fairies, gnomes, all we need now is Father Christmas. <sighs> ho, ho, ho! Wow! Father Christmas in our house! Ho, ho, ho! What? But who? But how? What my husband's trying to say is please join us for lunch. Hooray! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Daddy. <sighs> Today's adventure starts on Christmas Eve. The North Pole! 
are we nearly there yet? Yes, Nanny. We're almost at the North Pole. Will we meet Father Christmas? No, Holly. Remember, we never land at the North Pole. We drop the toys by parachute. Does Father Christmas catch them? No. The toys are collected by... Goblins. Not goblins. Arctic elves. Goblins, pixies, whatever. My brother is an Arctic elf. I didn't know you had a brother. Oh, yes. He's in charge of the Arctic elves. Calling Arctic elves? This is Flight 1001. Receiving you loud and clear, Flight 1001. Please drop the toys. Righty-o! <laughs> toys away! <sighs> now we can go home. It's a shame we never met Father Christmas or the Arctic Elves. The good thing is, we'll be back in time for the Elf and Fairy Feast. Oh, yes. The Elf and Fairy Feast. At midnight. With dancing and lanterns. <laughs> Oh, dear! The elf plane sounds a bit odd. Is it broken? Of course not. This plane is built to last 1,000 flights. Oh! Uh, this is flight 1,001. Oh, look. Lots of cops and things are falling out. Uh-oh. We're going down! We landed safely. That was lucky. Lucky? We're stuck at the North Pole. But now we might meet Father Christmas. And the Arctic Elves. I suppose we might see some penguins. Oh, I like penguins. Penguins live at the South Pole. This is the North Pole. What's that waddling towards us, then? Penguins! Not penguins. Arctic Elves. It's my twin brother. Hello, little brother. Hello. Are you really as old as each other? No, I'm older. But you're twins. I'm older and wiser by three minutes. Hardly older at all. I am the wiser, older elf. Ah, ah. When you little boys have stopped squabbling, maybe the wisest person here can work out how we get back home. Oh, uh. Maybe Father Christmas could help. Very clever. Follow me, everyone, to the house of Father Christmas. Father Christmas! Maybe if you're lucky, Nanny Plum, you'll see a penguin. <laughs> Violet, can I borrow your wand? OK. Oh, look, wise old elf, a penguin at the North Pole. Oh, very clever, Nanny Plum. What? <laughs> Ooh, Gaston stopped moving. Interesting. Gaston has frozen. Oh, no! We need to get the ladybird somewhere warm. Yes, insects don't like the winter. Here we are, the house of Father Christmas. It looks like a Christmas pudding. Oh, wonderful. Yes, little brother, I built it myself. Well, uh, when I said wonderful, I meant it's OK. <laughs> this is Father Christmas's study. We can thaw the ladybird out by the fire. Are these Father Christmas's slippers? Yes, they are. Wow! His feet are bigger than all of us. I think Gaston is thawing out. Well, well. Gaston's back! <laughs> Box 571 delivered. Oh, thank you, little brother. It would be simply spiffing if next year you made the last toy delivery before Christmas Eve. What? 
at least I make toys. You just wrap them up. Ah, but wrapping toys is the important bit. You have to be as old and wise as me to understand that. You're no wiser than me, but I am by three minutes. And I always will be. Ahem. Talking of wrapping presents, shouldn't somebody be doing that by now? It's Christmas Eve. Goodness me, you're right. To the present wrapping machines. That's the last of this year's presents wrapped. Time for a holiday. Hurrah! We've just brought one more box of toys to wrap. Sorry to end your holiday. That's OK. Arctic elves love wrapping presents. And we are... Oh, no! Arctic elves! We've brought you toy robots, dolls, space rockets and cars. Not bad. You've done a good job, brother. Oh, thank you, brother. When the presents are wrapped up, who delivers them? Ho, ho, ho! I deliver them, of course. Father Christmas! Call me Santa. I hear you're in a spot of bother. Yes, we need some help getting home. I've got some work to do tonight. I could drop you off on the way. Are you going our way? I'm going every way. Yay! <laughs> I say... That penguin's a long way from home. I'd better drop him off, too. Ho, ho, ho! Away we go! Have you got a present for our friend Lucy? Lucy? She's a little girl we know. Of course there's a present for her. Why do people always have such small chimneys? We could deliver the presents for you. All right. Put these presents in Lucy's Christmas stocking. Don't forget the tangerine. <gasps> Someone's coming! Keep still! Pretend to be a statue! That's odd. Some of the decorations have fallen off the tree. This little elf must go here. And this pretty fairy should be at the top of the tree. Phew! That was really close. Let's deliver Lucy's presents. Santa's waiting on your roof. Santa? On my roof? Cool. Merry Christmas, Lucy. Merry Christmas. Ah, there you are. Uh, there wasn't a little snack down there for old Santa, was there? Yes, a mint pie. Delicious. And this drink. Even better. <coughs> We can't start the Elf and Fairy Feast until the others are back. Well, where are they? Ho, ho, ho! <gasps> Hello, everyone! We're back! Father Christmas gave us a lift on his sleigh. Thank you, Father Christmas. Would you like to stay for our Elf and Fairy Feast? No time, I'm afraid. I have to deliver presents to all the children of the world. How many deliveries have you done so far? One. Well, good luck. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Good. Now we're all here. Christmas can begin. Hooray! 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 
Oompa, 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 oompa